dead meme. Hey guys, let's talk about the deep mining kit. So we're back in Stationers, and there's been a new item released called the the deep miner, and the metal, uh, materials that go into it, uh, it's not too expensive. Invar kind of sucks. Uh, Constring is not that bad, and steel is very easy to make. So this is actually I would consider you could probably make this sh shortly after the beginning of the game. The major issue is probably going to turn into storage. But let's take a look at what it looks like. So this is a deep miner I've got set up. I'll just flip the switch. I don't think I've got power hooked up to this one anymore. There we go. So I've just taken it apart here so you can see the, the power is here, the switch is there. Uh, this was our first test build to kind of learn how it worked. And in the beginning you might build like a little room. Like that's all this was. It's just a little bit of glass on each side and a door. And this doesn't produce ores directly, it produces a, a dirty ore. And you're going to need to throw that in the centrifuge. So what, we've been, what we did at first is we just kind of kept it in here because we had our recycler here and we were using it. And we were just throwing the, the ores in, but we quickly realized that this produces more ore than one centrifuge can handle. So I'm just going to take you over to what we've done over here. So this is our deep miner that's running constantly. And of course we have chutes, because we don't want a fairy ore. So we're shooting them straight into these centrifuges. So we, we use like a junction block here to continue the path. So two of these are being fed. And then we've created chutes to come out. And we've built a vending machine. Now this is a little bit more expensive. There's a great deal number of uh, ores that go into making one of these. Like um, Electrum's not hard to make, but getting enough gold and silver to make like 40 units, I believe it is, for the vending machine. So just be prepared for the like ridiculous number of ores you get. Power low. These centrifuges don't give a... Um, you can't choose the ore. It's basically random. Like, uh, I'm sure that there's some sort of calculation that's done. But as you can see, I'm getting ores all over the map. And because of this system, I can always just flush it. And it'll send it into my vending machine and making it a bit more manageable. Because as you can see, the legacy of just we used to empty it into this room and let it spit all over the floor. So uh, while we're here, though, I have a network analyzer. So this is the amount of power that's being used in this region. So these centrifuges, the miner, the vending machine, the, the stackers, and the furnace. So as you can see, the energy required to run a system to, to make your alloys, to mine, and to process them to an ore that's usable is not very energy intensive. So you can probably get away with this at the beginning of the early game. As we can see, Amy over there being creepy. So I don't think this machine replaces Amy. Uh, Amy gets ice for you and volatiles and other useful things. The miner does not uh, produce any ice whatsoever. So uh, I don't think that Amy's obsolete by any means. And Amy seems to be a bit quicker when it comes to not having to centrifuge and go through the process. But this runs all the time with no computer input, no programming. You just hook it up and walk away. So I don't think Amy's obsolete, but this system definitely it changed the way we play. But uh, hopefully uh, you find that helpful. Uh, it, it's pretty easy to set up. If you've built anything in this game, you understand the, the steps and process to hold the sheets, then use the screwdriver, then use the wrench and all that junk. You're, If you're looking this up, don't worry. You know how to do this already. But thanks for showing up. And if this is helpful, uh, leave a like or a sub. If someone you know would uh, maybe benefit from this, just let them know I'm making the video and share it with them. That'd be awesome. And uh, thanks for showing up.